but okay. He so was, of he, those four yeah. results, yeah, two of them mm-hmm. were stapled together for the one Nobel Prize that mm. he got. Brownian and photoelectric. Correct. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And the, so he's got one Nobel Prize. Mm-hmm. For two things that and hard, not for E equals MC squared, and not for E equals MC squared, <laughs> not <laughs> for relativity, let okay. alone general relativity, right. which comes eleven years later. Right. So, mm-hmm. for me, what's intriguing is his Nobel Prize is some of the least interesting work right. that he's done. <laughs> <laughs> it was somebody wins a Grammy for their well, worst album. <laughs> well, it was practical. It was practical. The Nobel was always very attached to verifiable results. So it was very hard for Stephen Hawking to get nominated for a Nobel Prize. It was surprising to me that even Roger Penrose not only was nominated but was awarded the Nobel Prize because they were so theoretical. And the Nobel Prize is often awarded for things that have been verified by experiment, not a minute before. Certainly in the day. That's the intention. That's correct. That's correct. Because it was the idea that if you're if it's a theoretical result, could could go with the winds. Right. You know. Right. Whereas you have if you anchor it in an experiment, right. then we we got we got legit 